game is ready to end for mature because burn, baby, burn! Disco Inferno and blood language and violence. Previously on Far Cry 5. Whee! Grappling is so much fun. I should stay away from those. Those are not fun. Oh, do not kill me. Do not watch out for falling debris. I'm gonna punch your butt. Let me punch your butt. I've been trying to punch you. You wouldn't let me punch you. There we go. Glad that we could see eye to eye on that one. No, you do not. There's no such thing as a heretic. No, I missed. This is just, ah. Looks like you can handle a weapon. Do I, can I handle a weapon? Or am I just being stupid? You decide. And who's that? Who, 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 who woke up on the wrong side of the bed? I'm lost in this conversation here. Ooh, I'm like, I'm treading into like some really, really bad territory here. Nobody suspects a thing. I'm doing really good so far. This combination of teamwork is exactly what I hope for my game. Oh my gosh. Uh, you don't think they like me? Man, I guess I need to work on my people skills. Hello everybody, Braxton of Peromni here, and welcome back to Let's Play Far Cry 5. In the last episode, we started our journey here in Faith's region, the Henbane River, and we ended up clearing out some of the, the, si the main quests um, for the region as well. We also ended up doing a... We destroyed the, the uh, statue of Joseph Seed, and we also ended up getting drugged out. Uh, and hallucinated by uh, Faith herself. So in this episode, we're going to take a small detour. Uh, and when I say small, I mean not really all that small if we had a vehicle, but I don't got a vehicle, so... Ew, this is gross. I'm just gonna like walk over you. What? Okay, anyway, before anybody else interrupts me, I need a vehicle because we are going to start doing the uh, Guns for Hire. And we're gonna start things off with uh, this Peach's Taxidermy here. And I think what our main goal here for this particular episode is we're gonna do that. It looks like there's a Prepper Stash somewhere over here too that we might go ahead and take care of as well since we're in the area. And then maybe we'll end up with uh, the Drubman Maria which will give us the second of the three Guns for Hire. Uh, in this region, but uh, this also comes at a cost. I need a freaking vehicle Otherwise, I'm just gonna run all the way over there, and I don't want to do that Any What is this? Oh, no, that's not good Those are drugs What does that even mean? That's funny. I wish there was a vehicle somewhere. Oh, hey look at that speaking of which no, no, you, I need you to, I need to come into the vehicle. Get out. A real good reason for this. There is a good reason, trust me. You took care of John C. Sure I, I'm, glad I'm trying, I'm trying to. Thank you. Are you not gonna get in either? Okay. Herc! Herc! I can't stay put here, amigo. Well, get in the car! Oh, crap. <laughs> get together, homies. Are you gonna shoot him? Ow, oh, does that count as me killing somebody? BAM! Okay, so I knocked- I killed somebody, I think. I guess Sarka's just gonna have to walk the rest of the distance because, um, honestly, yeah. Oh my gosh, is this Faith talking? Why? I don't. I'm just trying to get over here and. Shut up, Faith. I'm here. Herc's all the way over there. You've been blessed! Yay! I've been blessed! Right? That's a good thing. Probably not a good thing. Who are you again, old lady? Those miserable shits raided my place trying to kill my peaches. Now she's raced off for her revenge. If I know peaches, she's gone off to chow down on those hippies. She's probably lounging at the nearby campsite. It smells like armpits and processed meat down there. 
So those Eden Project losers can't be far away. Come on, Go on and find her now. Here. Be sure to take her treats with you. you. Just She's her. just like that little drubbing whore at the marina. She'll follow you anywhere if you give her a treat. Now go get my kitty back. Here, kitty kitty. All right, sounds like a plan. Um, there is a thing over here. Oh, these are treats. Damn, Jess, you look good today. This is, these are treats. Okay, so I guess I, I got to... Place. Oh, oh that's... Gosh, Mabel lives here, and she has the cutest pussy cat I've ever seen. <laughs> I love that pause. I just, I love that pause. It was not necessary, but oh, at the same time, it very much was. An object revealed, um, a collectible comic book. There's a comic book here. Is it this? It is. Sweet. All right. I, I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm you know 31 episodes into the let's play. I'm glad that I finally figured out that when it finally shows up that there's a collectible. I need to pay attention to that because it'll actually give me a little bit more information regarding that. And oh, I'm full on medkits. I'm just gonna raid your house, ma'am. Your Mabel. Um, I, I would listen to your stuff, but I'm just gonna pick your lock. No, nobody's nobody's going to catch me. Okay, two hundred fifty dollars, man. So you can think this isn't like a a uh, Elder Scrolls game or a Fallout game because I'm pretty sure everyone would gone would have gone ballistic at this point. Um, but where's the nearby campsite? Right there. Okay, I'm just gonna make this as my my current targeted one, and let's head on over to the campsite. I feel like we're we're like uh, Jason Voorhees or something. We're gonna sneak on off some campers, except for they're cult members, and it's not as cool sounding. And we don't need like 15 different installments into a dead franchise for it. Did I hit you? I'm not sorry. Um. Can I drive to the campsite? Like, is that possible? I should probably take a look. Um, not really, actually. Okay. I guess it really, I really can't drive over there. Um, so I guess we're just gonna go hiking. Come on, my buddies, my pals. Come, oh, I could have taken this little trail. There's a trail here. Does this lead directly up here? I think it kind of does. Well, guys, I'm not the brightest. I'm also not the most visibly aware. Um, but, but oh, there's a dead person. Uh, got a new enemy of Eden's Gate, the cougar. These vile beasts have attacked some beloved servants of the father. So if you see any cougars, kill them. Gotcha. Not really. I'm actually looking to grab one because I gotta be kind to one. Look at all these dead people. These aren't even cultists. They're just innocent bystanders. Eliminate the enemies. Oh no, don't be attacking peaches. There's one, two. Is it just these two? Is that it? Okay. Oh no, there's one more. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. Equip, equip Peach's Streets from the Weapon Wheel, which is, uh, Peach's Streets. Alright. Um, Peach's... Oh, there's people. There's people somewhere. Oh, I see them. Nope. Ah, there we go. There you go. I need to take you all out. Oh my gosh! Oh, nope! Ah! No! No! Do not kill! Do not kill the... The peaches! Peaches, um... Here! Here! Come here, peaches! Don't be hurt! Come here, peaches! Come here, peaches! I'm just gonna throw a bunch of food! Are you afraid of the fire? Ah! I'm so terrified! What in the world? What in the world? I. It's gonna get hot if we don't get out of here. Are you freaking out because of the fire? 
I might have to wait until this fire dies out. Oh my gosh. That was the worst. Okay, it's gone. All right. All right. All right, kitty, kitty, kitty. Come here. Come on. Come on. I'm going to lead you all the way back home because I want you. So here. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Here, kitty. Have all the food you could want. I'm just going to throw a bunch of it. I'm going to make you so fat you'll love me. Come on, kitty. Come. <laughs> Am I giving her too much? I'm gonna make you dependent. Oh my gosh! What was that? Oh no! No! Oh, who sees me? You know what? I don't care about you. You can die! die. Nope, nope. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Kitty, kitty, come here. Come here. Good kitties. Good kitty. Good kitty. This is a lot more hectic than it needs to be. Come here, kitty. All right, just got to cross the bridge. We're almost there. Come here. Come here, peaches. Come here, peachy peachy. Peachy poo. Come here, Peachy Poo! You know, my neighbors probably think I'm irrationally insane. Supposed to rationally insane. Peaches! Peaches, come on! Come on, Peaches! Come on, Peaches! You're a good girl! Come on, Peaches! Come on, Peaches! They keep throwing it. Secure Mrs. Mabel's home with Peaches' help! Oh no! Oh lord! Oh gosh! Oh, they're already here! Okay, so they're already here. Alright, so. Eh, we're just gonna take our sweet and precious. Drink. Crap! There you go, you're dead. And then, oop! You're dead too. Anybody else? Anybody else? Position. I'm just gonna sneak over here. I don't want to cause alarm or anything, anything. But I do believe that this is not quite correct in terms of how this should be played out. You didn't see me. You're dead. That was easy. Alright, so there's one, two guys. Alright. Oh. You're dead. Oh, that was so close. Oh, crap. Oh. Oh, there's his peaches attacking now. Y'all need to stop. There we go. Lure peaches into her pen. Okay. So I just need to, like, throw food in here. Come here. More peaches. More peaches. Yeah! There we go. Now I gotta talk to the old lady. Hop through her. For some reason, I thought the window was open. I'm sorry, Mrs. Mabel. Sorry for breaking and entering. I'll be honest. I figured I'd never see you again. Thought you were a little dim in the headlights, but you proved me wrong. Ah, oh, hell. Why don't you just keep the damn cat? I've enjoyed not having to deal with her incessant needs for food and water and attention the last few days. All right, off you go. We're done here. Woo! Why does she remind me of two people? One, she reminds me of, like, an old, like, English teacher I once had. But two, she also kind of reminds...
She also reminds me of the guacamole, guac, guacamole vine. I don't know. It's just the the way she kind of walked around in that little section kind of reminded me of that. Anyway, we now have peaches. And can I pet peaches? I can! Peaches, I want to pet you. Oh! Oh! This, this, all the animals, all the things for hires, they're all good boys slash girls. They're all good. All right, so what I'm also wanting to do is I'm wanting to check out this prepper stash. Because it's just kind of right down the road here. And when I say right down the road, I literally mean just like not on any road at all, period. And I'm sad that I don't didn't get... Oh. Oh. Uh, no, I, I meant to. I'm gonna save you. Liberate you. You are not a person. Oh? What? Okay, what? I guess I'm not doing a prepper stash now! I didn't want to do one anyway. You've been invited into our home, into our heart. Trust in the path and you'll find the answers you seek. Oh, I can move. What in the world? I can't run! Can I like, leave and not come back? Where are you going, silly? Home! Away from you! No! I'm following my heart! My heart says I'm too scared! I won't go home! This is the way. No it is not! Stop forcing me down into your stupid beliefs! Ah! I just, I want to, I want to leave. I want to leave. I don't want to go to you. No, no, no. Faith, get away from me. I just want to leave. Why would you want to leave? Because it beats staying here. Look at this. I mean, it's kind of, kind of peaceful, but at the same time, this place don't have video games. You can't say you love me if you ain't got video games, woman! Ah! I want out! Oh, you ran out of lines to say? Fine! I guess you can have it your way, Burger King! Even those who fight against us seek salvation. You have proof of that. We all need guidance in times like these. So we must be strong. We must be vigilant. Now you'll see. Now you'll truly understand. Because those on the outside will see what we have built here together in our new Eden. Love. And they will come. And they will try to take from us all that we have built. The judgment. Judge us. The things that we've done. People say that I'm crazy. But when you wake up in the morning, you look at the same news that I do. Are your eyes not filled with horror. This is the world? This? This is the world we built for our children? Communities being torn apart? Walls being erected? Because leaders are too impotent to act. Bullies are too adult to lead righteously. I did not ask for this. 
was chosen. See, everything is coming to an end. You can feel that. I know you can. See, mankind is weak. And vulnerable. And we are hurtling towards our destruction and no one is willing to do anything about it. I can see that. You can see. But we are not crazy. So what are we supposed to do? We just sit back and await the inevitable? I claim to be a perfect man. I saw what was coming, and I chose to act, to lead, because society is broken. And the only way forward is to go back to the way things once were. Innocent and pure, so safe and protected in our garden. I can save. Absolutely no idea what I got into, what I got myself into. All I wanted to do was save a person, and then it turned out that nope, I'm high on drugs. That's a phrase that I've repeated multiple times throughout this Let's Play, and I still never know what's going on. Jesus Christ, you scared the shit out of us. <laughs> hey, Sheriff. A couple didn't make it back. Boys anybody, said... Anybody grab Burke? Uh, Grady, supposedly, but... Well, where the hell's Grady? <sighs> oh, Jesus. Now, you just... You just relax. Lie back. I'll see you in the morning. <sighs> you come out of the bliss too fast. Shit's liable to scramble your fucking brains. to stay safe behind the prison walls then Peggy's gonna strike at night um my big question is how much freaking adrenaline did you have to give me like that syringe looked like that was for a horse I was in the process of doing just that but guess what Nothing has... Uh, it's a lot harder. There's a huge Peggy stash deep inside the old Bright Warden health mine. We're talking guns, ammo, stuff we need. Feels like we're constantly running low on supplies. I think we should take theirs. Okay. Side effects. Oh, doc, doggo. Doggo! Doggo! Yay! Okay, so in all honesty, there's a mission in here. I'm doing all right, but uh, I want to do something different. Um, like, could we, uh, you know, yeah. oh, I guess we could just go here then. Yeah. Shark here. You know what? Hell Let's do it. Let's do it. Maybe this time I won't have to worry about, um, oh, I can't go through there. Dang it. How do I get out? Oh, I burned myself right here. Okay. So I want a car. I want to get another freaking Thingamajig. Oh, Herc. Awesome. <laughs> Alright, sorry, Herc, but I'm leaving you again. <laughs> I feel no shame. We are actually going to do one more gun for hire mission 
Because why not? I want to. I want to. I was going to go do that prepper sash, and then try and get the uh, the Drubman Marina taken care of. But clearly, that's not what's happening here. That's not how this is gonna work. Um, do I want to go straight? Sure. Why not? Let's have let's have some fun here. Whoa, whoa! This is all. Oh, that's. I legitimately think that my game like froze. The down there. Oh no! 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 What you're talking about? Okay, maybe I just gotta exit. Oh gosh! What? What? There's a helicopter? Oh, there- oh, no! What?! No! How- why is there a helicopter here now?! Why?! What the heck?! How did this happen?! Where did you get a helicopter? I wanna... I would to... <laughs> this game! I don't know what in the world... Oh. And it's, um... Traveling to Waypoint! Oh, awesome! Oh, that's really cool, actually. But, uh, I'm gonna assume that we're about to die, actually. If I had to take a guess. Also, Herc, how are you so confident? How are you... How? Alright, so I'm gonna do this before I inevitably die. Alright! Sharky Boshaw! Nope, got some other plans for you. I am Charlemagne Victor Beauchamp. Now, if you require more brevity in your day-to-day -day life, you can just call me Shark. Welcome to the Disco Inferno, man. It's my special place where I can just be me, without the prying eyes of my PO, or witnesses, or law enforcement types such as yourself. Here is where I am free to unleash my fire and mayhem in a pants-free, consequence-free environment. I have pants on now, yes, but... Who knows what the next half hour, 45 minutes hold. We've got a sweet ass sound system rigged for 110 decibels of the hottest music ever created. Every time I crank it up, man, those dipshit cult angels, they just come running, and I can't tell if they love it or hate it, but I'm telling you, it sure is fun to melt their faces. And don't worry, man, the angels, they's already brain dead. I'm just giving them a glorious send off to disco heaven, man. You wanna help? It's good fun, man. I promise not to tell anyone. We don't even have to wear pants or nothing. I supply the music, and I use the flamethrower to make them dance, and you use your, um, I don't know, whatever it is you got. Let's just burn this mother down. Burn, baby, burn. You know, this sounds like a fun mission. Kill all the angels you can. This is actually going to be kind of fun. I like this. What in the world? <laughs> there's explosions. There's there's fireworks. This is. Oh, you're going to ruin this, aren't you? Yeah, I know. I know what normally kills people. I feel like I need to stay up here, though. If I fall down there, I'm liable to get burned myself. But, but what? I'm not even getting a chance to kill anybody. I just, I want, I want some. Okay, that's not really what I wanted to do. Or at least that took a while. Eh. Eh. Do I have to kill like a certain amount of people? Or like, how does this work? Boop. There you go. Uh, you can die too. And there's somebody up here. Oh, there's you. Hi there, sir. Oh, 
Oh lord. Oh lord. Switch off? Oh, I do gotta come down here. Oh no. Oh no. How do I. Where is. Where is the. Oh, there's. This is the thing. Okay. Interact. Interact. There we go. Oh no. 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 I just need to. I need to. Need to not die. No! What the heck? Oh gosh, interact. Are you oh, you you are all fire. You are all coming up here. I'm trying. Ah! No, um, um, uh, uh, wh what am I supposed to do? Ah, nope. Um. Oh gosh, who is firing at me? No! Uh, 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 uh. I just do this, there we go. That seems like a safe bet. Oh no, oh my gosh. Whew. I need a, I need a new gun for hire because uh, Jess is not available now. Um, we'll do, we'll do to you. I might have to unassign you because you are not doing anything. So how about, how about you come in? I feel like I need as many people as I can to save me because this is about to not, not working. Um, I'm trying, I'm trying. There's one up there. I need to find a way to get back up here. Yeah, I know. How do I get back up there? Uh, there we go. Okay, that works. That works. Uh, stop in the music. There we go. Okay, so now we just gotta survive. Oh, 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 lord. Uh. Cheeseburger, I'm coming! Ouch! Alright, this is just a lot of individuals. Uh, oh, yeah, sweet! That's, that's, ex oh, oh gosh, nope. There you go, you take that, you take that. Um, um, you can die. There you go. There's a lot of people here. Whew. Take that! There! Oh, that's awesome! Eh, just a lot of me going, that's awesome! That's awesome! I'll save you, Sharky! I think that's what your name was? Come on! Eh, just one shot! Okay, he, that guy's dead and I think we're good! Um. What? The game literally like took me and then put me back here. That was weird. But we have Sharky, and that's one more gun for hire down. We have new perks. I only have two perk points, so I guess it's not that, not really all that much. Oh, that's right. I just get one of these perks. All right. So in all honesty. I have so far, I like the guy. He's crazy, and I like that. Also, he built this thing, like he turned this into his own little playground, like that's crazy. I like it. Oh, and there's this, there's a, there's a safe here. Well, you know what? That's gonna be it for this episode of Let's Play Far Cry 5. In the next episode, ooh, I'll take the, oh, 250 bucks. No, not bad. That's, that's a lot of good food for the next week. Um, in the next episode, we're gonna hopefully try and get in that last gun for hire over at the um, Drub Bin Marina, which I was going to if I didn't try rescuing somebody who wasn't really a person. That would have been nice. But anyway, that's great for this episode. Until next time, keep being awesome. This is Braxton, liberating out. I can't wait to see, to use Shark as a gun for hire. 
Because like I've said before, apparently Sharky and Herc have some really great conversations. So, um, I can't wait. Also, can I blow this up? Is this something I can blow up? I'm happy. 